What's up guys, Bearcon here, the BNBA in Packs, and today I'm super excited because I have a Panini Mail Day. I've said on the channel before, as well as the BNBA in Packs TikTok, that I'm pretty good at getting redemptions back fast. And I tell you guys exactly how I do it every single time. Whether you listen to me or not, that's up to you. But here's proof yet again that you should listen to me. On August 7th, I posted this TikTok. So I pulled this Lamelo Ball redemption 120 days ago, which means it's time to request a replacement. Now you don't have to do this. You can request to wait another 120 days, but I figured to just go ahead and see what my replacement could be. If you've seen this video on my channel, BA Impacts, you'll know that I'm pretty good at getting my replacements back fast, as well as getting something significantly better than what I originally redeemed. I was super curious on what could possibly be better than a Lamelo Ball auto. So I decided to go ahead and request a replacement and tell Panini exactly what I'm hoping to receive. Because if you didn't know this, Panini definitely takes into consideration what you're collecting and players you're looking for. So don't be afraid to reach out and ask them, hey, I'm looking for a Luka Doncic. Is it possible to get a replacement of Luka, Herbert, Zion, or a really cool white box or a black box, which would be a guaranteed one-on-one. So that's exactly what I did for this card. We'll see what happens. Be sure to hit that follow button so that when I get that replacement back, you'll be the first to know as well as you'll be the first to see what that replacement is. So I'm hoping for something crazy. A lot of you guys thought I was nuts requesting a Luka Doncic, Justin Herbert, Patrick Mahomes, a Zion, a white box, a black box. A lot of you guys thought I was nuts for requesting those things as a replacement for my Lamelo Ball Auto, but why not ask? And today is August 17th, 10 days later, less than two weeks, which is my personal best for fast replacement times, by the way. I got this package in from Panini America. Now, I have no idea what they sent me, but I will tell you that I requested a Luka Doncic, Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Zion, or a white box or a black box from the Nationals as a replacement. And I thought that was pretty fair considering it was a Melo Ball, a rookie of the year player. I'm pretty confident they've sent me at least a Justin Herbert. I don't know if it'll be a Zion. Panini customer service is very consistent when dealing with requests. They will honor your request and say, hey, yes, we can do that. Or, hey, we can't really do this. And honestly, I was full expecting them to send me a white box or a black box uh, for, as a replacement. This is the value of the Lamoa ball that I redeemed. So I figured it might have been a stretch to get a Herbert back, uh, Zion, a Luka, or Mahomes. But obviously they didn't send me a white box or a black box and they didn't follow up my email saying, hey, we can't do any of those other guys. So I think it is one of them. Now, Luka Doncic and Patrick Mahomes, even if it's not a rookie auto, I still think might be a stretch. So I'm not going to get my hopes up for that. But if I had to guess, I would say probably Herbert isn't too out there. There's definitely Herbert autos out there that match the value of this. It's more of a question whether or not Panini has them. A Zion is possible. But I'm not too sure. I don't know. It will probably be a pretty low-end Zion Auto, which I'd still obviously be okay with. After we open this up, I will talk about how I did it and what I did. I'll give you guys all the contact info, and I'll walk you through how to get your redemption replacement faster than most. But seriously, I cannot wait any longer. I need to see what's in this. All right, before we open this up, let's look at a different redemption that was fulfilled that Panini sent me recently. Um, this was from my Panini Contenders box trip. If you haven't checked that out, the video is on channel, so please go check it out after you're done watching this one. But I'm really excited about it. It came super fast, but it is an OB Toppin uh, auto from Contenders. It is out of 99. It's a playoff ticket. It looks absolutely beautiful. Main event. Like I said, I asked for a Luka Doncic and Patrick Mahomes, which were the two that I thought even for this was a kind of a stretch. I know Panini sometimes gives back a little bit more than what you originally asked for, just because I feel like they don't advertise it. They don't say this is an official policy, but I feel like they want to make up for the time you spent waiting. So I do think that they give you a card that's better than what you originally asked for. If you ask, sometimes I've heard stories that people kind of feel felt like they got gypped in their replacement, but if you reach out and ask, like we're going to talk about it in a little bit, I definitely think it's a possibility. Um, but anyway, so my guys I request were Luka Doncic, Patrick Mahomes, which again, I think might even be a stretch, Justin Herbert, Zion Williamson, or a white or black box. Now, we didn't get a white or black box, which for those of you guys who don't know, is pretty much a guaranteed one-on-one. Um... We didn't get one of those, so I really do think it's either Luca, Patrick Mahomes, 
Justin Herbert or Zion because typically they'll email you back saying, hey, we'll refill, we'll fulfill the replacement for you, but we can't do so and so. And I didn't get that email this time. So I definitely think it's possible that I got one of those four guys. So the only way to find out, of course, is to rip this up and see who we have. So pretty much anything you get from Panini will come in a box like this. And if I open it up, it should not be the card itself. It should be an envelope. Yep, there it is. And you can see on the box, Panini. Here we go. And see what we got. Okay, we're gonna put the little card saver in the back for suspense. Oh, oh, I know. All right, oh boy. Boy, here we go, here we go, come on. Leaps and bounds, this is from plates and patches, I believe. Oh, this is not the back. And it's red, you guys, I think. Oh yes, sir! Patrick Mahomes, 37 out of 50. Look at this card. It is just absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. I love it. All right. Now you guys have been waiting. I made you guys wait, but this is exactly what you do. And I promise you it's super simple. Anyone can do it. If you want your redemption back fast, if you don't want to wait months and months and months, you got to grind out and email them. It's super simple, I know, and a lot of you guys are thinking, oh, what great advice, that's already what we've been doing, but have you been doing it correctly? Have you been emailing the right people? Have you taken the right methods to do it? And have you been strategic about it? So this is exactly what I've done. I've done it three times, and all three times it's worked. All the emails I used are in the description below, so you can literally just copy and paste them into your message. But the key things to remember is you have to be polite. You have to be polite when asking them. They're not going to give you, they're not going to respond to you if you're a butthole to them. They're going to want, they want you to be polite. So be polite. Tell them that you understand that it's been crazy, crazy for them and you appreciate everything they're doing for us. That, that can go a long way. Thank them for their time. Give them your ticket number, right? And then tell them the players you're looking for. Be respectful, be reasonable about it. I redeemed it on Level Ball Auto, so I knew that I had a chance to get a good guy in return. And even though it wasn't the greatest from the greatest product, the value can still match up. So check the value of what you're originally redeeming. And then if it's possible, if the guys you want can be found in that range, or if it's a little bit over, that's fine. Ask and you never know. And I asked for my Level Ball. This is the comp it was. And this is the comp for this card right here. So as you can see, there's a crazy difference. So there is some leeway, so don't be afraid to ask for the card that you want or the player you want. And lastly, they get a ton of emails. So if you email them once every like six days or whatever, odds are they may miss it. So don't be afraid to email them, just copy and paste the same message over and over again, still being polite. Just email them the same message a few times a day so that you can probably exceed your chances of catching them at the right moment. Another thing I do is I don't email them all separately. You can do that. I've definitely tried it, but I've always been successful when I put them all in one email chain in one big email group message. Now, I don't know if that's an accountability thing or whatever, but that seems to work for me is when I put them all in one email chain, that usually gets a response. And again, Panini is super kind. They've always helped me out. They've always been efficient. They've always, always delivered on ass. They're super great. You can say a lot about Panini. You can say a lot about them, but you cannot say they have bad customer service. You have to remember there's literally millions of millions of redemptions being redeemed and thousands and thousands and thousands being requested to be replaced. So take these methods, be kind. And I promise you it'll work. Let me know in the comments if this method works for you. Message me. Um, it really is the best way to go about it. 
So I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys learned something. If I maybe I'm not as clear as you wanted me in this video, check out my other redemption replacement videos. Maybe I'm a little bit more clear in those for you. Um, I hope this is helpful. I'm super stoked about this card. It's a beautiful on-card auto. Oh man, I am so psyched.